Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here. And six months ago, I think, yeah, six months ago, uh, in the in the height of of the cryptocurrency craze, I bought a 1050 Ti for all in total with tax and everything, two hundred fifty dollars. And this is from AliExpress. This is from China, from a Chinese brand. So, um, how that turned out? <laughs> It's a very good question. So yeah, we'll get into it. So this is actually the new store page for the graphics card that I bought. It's, it's sold by uh, SCMC, which is uh, Shenzhen Mingzi Industrial Technology Co. Limited. And we'll get into why I bought it from them later on. But looking at the store page, you can see that it's a it's a pretty old card. It's a 1050 Ti. I think it's like four shields old at this point. Uh, 4 GB GDR5, um, and yeah, it's not that special of a GPU. <laughs> Why did I pay so much for it? Uh, the 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 big the big thing was uh, nobody knew that like crypto was going to crash. So at the at this point, I I knew I needed like a new GPU because I wanted to run Lay Wayland on uh, on on my new be uh, desktop build, and my current GPU, which was like an Nvidia 660, did not support the new drivers which supported Wayland. So this was just the cheapest way to get uh, uh, NVIDIA hardware encoding for making YouTube videos and also for getting uh, Wayland support on my desktop. So that's why I bought it. Um, that's why I bought the price. And so the, now the big question is, what did I get? <laughs> because obviously buying a GPU from AliExpress is kind of sketchy. Uh, Linus Tech Tips has made like a bunch of videos on, on this and that's kind of what inspired the whole thing. Um, but yeah, uh, so I ended up getting the, the white version and all these specs that I listed here, it pretty much matched that, uh, the box. So all in all, it was, it was a pretty decent experience cause I didn't get scammed or anything. I think the only thing was that, uh, for the power supply, uh, they lied in this one. Um, the one that I got was PCIe only. It wasn't six pin power supply, which was actually a good thing. I wanted a PCI, um, only, uh, GPU, uh, in line with being as like power efficient and uh, low spec as possible for just enabling uh, Wayland use on Linux. And so yeah, the, the way that I found it was the same method that I used uh, to find my keycaps. I'll link that video. Uh, I think it's titled like how to buy stuff off of AliExpress or like how to buy like keycaps off of AliExpress. You basically just uh, sort by, by um, order number if we go into um, AliExpress, right, and we go into a computer, and something should pop up. Okay, the ads are coming up. Computer, graphics cards. And the main thing here is just to do by orders you'll see that like there's all these resellers of like known brands which are guaranteed to be used basically uh and then you see some some native brands uh to to china like huang z or um uh where does where does it show up and yeah you'll get all like these uh fake fake uh stores like uh uh, where is it? MSI flagship store. Yeah, definitely gonna be official. But yeah, you can see the the 580 here, which used to be like more expensive than the 1050. I think it was like $300 for a uh, RX 580. Um, so it showed up here and that's how I just purchased it. I, I could have just linked the video there. Um, but yeah, so after I did that, I looked up the company on Alibaba just to see if it existed, if they did uh, bulk. And out of all like the GPU, like the native GPU manufacturers on AliExpress, uh, this one had the best uh, Alibaba profile. It was verified for five years. Um, all like the information checked out. So I was fine um, ordering from this company. Uh, and the unboxing experience wasn't anything special, so I didn't record it. But was what was special was like deconstructing it and making sure everything was like legit and then re reassembling it. Uh, that was the fun part. Um, so I'm gonna run the footage now. I think there's like a little bit of unboxing, like an overview of the of the card, and then the part where I like open it up and show you guys what's inside, and that and that's the fun part. Um, I don't know what I expected when I opened it up, but I'm glad I did. 
let's just let's just say it like that. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like this footage from like six months ago. But yeah, enjoy. Okay, so I ended up opening up the GPU uh, just so I could see what's underneath, um, see how it's constructed, and to do any thermal compound or thermal pad uh, reapplication if needed. And I'm glad I did because the thermal paste does not cover most of the dye. Let's see what is this? Yeah, as you can see, the the top right corner is not covered, and we got some thermal paste on um, those itty bitty tiny pieces there. Um, it spilled over heavily, as you can see. Um, so the heat sink is just, I think, like extruded aluminum. It's very cheap sounding. But I guess you got the job done because this is a low power card. The shroud is cheap white plastic. Um, a two pin cable, so I don't know how the fan speed is regulated, but I'll look at my old GPU just to confirm that. Um, yeah, cheap white plastic, but it looks decent. It has the Chinese brand on top. Um, part of the reason why I got this one is because I want the white color. So that worked out good. So I'm going to go clean, uh, go ahead and clean this up, reapply the thermal paste, and then put it in the PC. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned off the GPU die to reapply the thermal paste, and we can see indeed it is what it says it is, supposedly. Um, so we didn't get a uh, like a mod chip that reported the wrong uh, CPU thing. Uh, sorry, the GPU ID. Um, all the memory modules and stuff seems to be SK Hynix. So that was like one of the two things like SK Hynix and Samsung. So yeah, um, everything looks good. So we'll go ahead and put it back together. Um, but yeah, here we'll, here's what the GPU looks like. And it is indeed what it's advertised to be. Okay, and here's what the fully assembled GPU looks like. Just a quick tour. So front, top, you notice no six pin power. IO side, internal side, and then PCI side. And then the box is nothing special, it just has the brand. And there's like no identifying marks on it. So you kind of just need to have faith. That's nothing special. Yeah?